If you are working in Google Drive and you want to know how to transfer ownership of a document to someone else, then this video is for you. So there are always, or typically, I guess, I'll say there's typically more than one way to do something. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways. Now, before we get started, when you're working in computers and documents and all of the files and things, um, you always have to tell the computer what it is that you want to work with. So you do that by selecting the file, right? So now I've selected spread love and joy document and I'm telling the computer I want to work with this document. If I select, if you're watching this Iraq doc, <laughs> then that is telling the computer I want to work with this document. So there are a couple of conditions that need to be in place before you share a document. Number one, obviously you have to have the document in place. And number two, um, the document needs to be shared with the person that you want to provide access to. So in this instance, if you're watching this Iraq doc, I have this shared with the person that I want to give ownership of the document to. So how I'm going to do that is I go up here and I click this share button. And I see that Michelle is in the people, the list of people with access. So I would simply click this editor and I would go down and click transfer ownership. Now, once I do that, it's going to say, hey, I'm gonna send an invitation to Michelle to accept the ownership of this document, but until she accepts it, you're still gonna be the owner. Okay, cool, send invitation. So now in Michelle's inbox, she's going to have an invitation that asks her if she wants to take ownership of this document. Now, let's say you're in here and you have more than one person on this list and you've decided, oopsie, I didn't mean for Michelle to be the trans to the to be the owner of this document. I actually meant for somebody else to. In that case, you would simply go here and then just click cancel ownership transfer and then cancel transfer. And now Michelle no longer has the option to come and take ownership of this document. So that is way number one, the first way that you can transfer ownership of a document. The second way that you can transfer ownership of a document in Google Drive is to open the document itself. And once the document is open, if you look right up here to the top right hand corner, you will see that share button, a blue, beautiful bright share button right up here in the top right click on that and you're going to see the exact same screen that we just saw with all of the people who have access and you get the option to transfer ownership you can also make them a viewer so that they can see the document but they can't modify or edit it you can also make them a commenter so that you can allow them to view the document and make comments or you can make them an editor so that they can go in and actually change the document themselves. And you can transfer ownership, or you can just completely remove them from ownership at all. Now, how then do you get people here with access? You simply click up here and you type in um, somebody's email address, and then you tell it what role you want them to have. Do you want them to view only? Do you want them to view and be able to make comments? Or do you want them to have full editing access? So you would choose the role um, and the permissions that you would like for them to have. And then you can choose to either notify them or not notify them. If you notify them, then you might wanna type a little message so that when she receives the email on the other end, she's not gonna be going, what the heck is this, right? Um, and then you would click send and then she would receive an email granting her access as a commenter with this message in that email. Now there's a couple of things that you are gonna wanna know if you grant somebody access to your Google document. Number one is, if you go up here and click settings, you'll see that there are two options. The option um, to allow editors to change permissions and share, which means that if they can edit the document and they have the editor role, then they can therefore add other people to the document and give them roles and permissions to that document. Um, so if you don't want a random, possibly random people ending up with access to your document, you might wanna take that off. 
depending on you know, your trust level and your relationship with the person you're sharing with. The other option is to allow viewers and commenters to see the option to download, print, and copy. So if you have something that is proprietary or you don't want people to be able to download, print, or copy it, make it their own, then you might would want to deselect this option as well. All right, so that is two different ways that you can transfer ownership of a Google document to somebody else. So now, if you remember earlier, I told you there's more than one way to do anything in the computing world. And so I'm gonna show you a third way that you can transfer ownership with a Google document. So if you click the document, remember we have to tell the computer which document or file we wanna work with or folder, you would right click and pull down to this share and there you have it. There is the same exact screen that you are familiar with. You would click that drop down menu and pull down to transfer ownership. So now you know several ways to transfer ownership of a Google file. Now, also I want to bring into your awareness that this same exact method applies to Google folders. So if you want to transfer ownership of an entire folder, you can do that. And there are three ways that you can transfer ownership of a folder. So let's say for example, all of these files exist within this folder. Instead of having to do each file individually, you can just transfer ownership of the entire folder. So how do we do that? Well, can you take a guess? First, we have to what? We have to tell the computer what it is that we want to work with. So here we're gonna tell it we wanna work with untitled folder. And then you guessed it, right up here in the right-hand corner, there is a share icon. So we would click share and guess what? There is that familiar screen again. So we would click the person, the editor next to, or this drop-down menu. It might say viewer, it might say commenter, but we would trick, click the drop-down menu of the person that we wanna transfer ownership to. And notice that the person has to be an editor in order to get that transfer ownership, right? They cannot be a commenter, they cannot be a viewer, they must be an editor. And once they are an editor, you have the option to choose transfer ownership, okay? So that is way number one. So what would be way number two? You guessed it, you right click and pull down to share. And there is that same familiar screen and the option to transfer ownership. Now the third way is to open the folder, but then what? That big blue, beautiful share button does not exist. So how do we share from this screen? Well, you click these two cute little people here and there is that same familiar screen where you get the option to transfer ownership. So there are three ways to transfer ownership of a Google folder in Google Drive, and there are three ways to transfer ownership of a Google document in Google Drive. Now remember, just to recap, the person that you are wanting to transfer ownership to must be an editor of the object that you're wanting to transfer. And then there are three ways to transfer either a folder or a document. So if you're having somebody help you to create documents and um, they create it and it shows up in your folder, but it shows them as the owner, you can lead them to this um, video and it will show them how to make you the owner so that you can um, have ownership of the documents that um, perhaps you paid for or uh, perhaps you need ownership of. All right, I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video and you find it helpful and you want to see more tech videos like this, then definitely give this a thumbs up or drop a comment and consider subscribing because your feedback lets me know what type of videos to make um, to help you and to empower you uh, um, in everyday life. If I continue to see likes, then I will continue to make videos like this. And if not, I won't. But either way, I am sending you lots and lots of love.